Hi, Grandma Mary here, and I'm here today to talk about bringing your blog into your Facebook page automatically, or your profile, either way, using network blogs. Now recently, well, kind of recently, the whole interface has changed, so here's my updated video on how you do it. So I'm in a little test account here. And I'm just going to navigate to Network Blogs. And you can do that by typing in the search box, Network Blogs, and then just clicking on it. And if you're new to Network Blogs, it's going to have you verify your account. You're going to have to log in with your personal profile. Don't get freaked out about it. It's okay to use it that way. You can just port it into your Facebook fan page even if you're using it as your personal profile. That's just how this app works, okay? So don't get your knickers in a knot over that. So you just kind of keep clicking through, click here, click here, the la la la, follow the signs. Let me just move my head a little bit here. Now, nothing to show, that's because you're new, it's okay. You're gonna first go up to the register a blog area, right up here, and you're gonna click on that. You're gonna fill out the whole uh, blog link information and go through the steps there. And then you're gonna put, you know, put the name in, the coach, the feed, all that kind of good stuff. Put in your topics of it. The topics just help you get found a little bit. Put it in your description. And this is all just for within the app. So, you know, fill out all that kind of good stuff. And then what you're gonna do once you do that, is you're going to go and pull it in. So now you've registered, it's going to have you do a little verification that you're the owner. Now you can, you can do that by asking your friends to verify you, or you can put a little snippet of code on your, on your blog that it gives you a handy little snippet of code just in a little widget there. If you're blog savvy, you know how to do that. If you're not, you can use your friends to verify that you're the owner. It still will pull this all in, even if you're not verified. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, once you register it, you're going to go over to the syndication part. Now, I'm just going to pause for a second, and we're going to go into the blog I've already set up. I just wanted to show you how you get that registered initially. And so we're going to just pause for a second, and I'm going to go into my other account. All right. Hi, here we're back again. And now I'm going to talk to you about pulling it in. You've registered your, your network blogs. Now we'll talk about pushing it off to your Facebook profile or your page. Now, once you have it in there and you've, you've got your network blogs installed there, you can always navigate to it by the apps area over here, or you can type it in again like we did before. So if I just click in there, I'm in my personal profile, and I can go to it from here. And now you see this home page, and this home page is kind of like a feed of blogs that you've maybe subscribed to within the application. And if you don't subscribe to any app, uh, blogs, then you're not going to see them there. But you go to actually put it into your Facebook news feed or your profile news feed, whichever one, into your page, pull it in your page. You click on the little syndication button. Now, once you claim the blogs, you're going to click on it there, and now you're going to see where it's pulling to. And you can see right now, we've only got it going to Andrea's profile page. And there's a reason for that. Network blogs is still collapsing a little bit in the news feed, and you'll see a little, uh, a little post on that, a little uh, screenshot of what that looks like in this, uh, in this blog feed. Look below. I mean, in this blog post, look below, and you'll see that it's not getting quite as much play out there if you have pull it in via the network blog's application itself. Facebook doesn't give it its own shiny little spot in the news feed. So what I do on my, on my personal, pro, on my fan page is I do post it manually. I post my blog post manually. I don't want anyone to miss those by because it's getting collapsed. Now, if you want to, you know, if you want to go ahead and do it, I know a little automation can be a good thing. It's, um, you know, go ahead and have it pull in. I have it pulled into the profile. That's okay. I have it 
tweet it out when I when I post the blog post. It automatically tweets out. I like doing that little automation again. But here's what you want to do is if you want to add your Facebook page, you say add a Facebook target, and then I would click on this to add it there, close it, and now it shows up that it's posted to both. So, but if you don't post it to both, it will just still show up as a little sidebar tab where everyone can look at your blog post, and that's a good thing too. So you decide how you want to do it. Um, but the other thing that I find a little bit confusing in the network blogs is if you want to do any editing. So the, the navigation is a little funky here. Uh, you go to your profile, and then you can see, again, let me move my head. You can see here's the blogs. You can edit your profile and talk about what you do and everything like that, which is good. But here's how you navigate to some of this stuff. If you want to edit what the blog is about or, you know, check on it. You click on this little spot right here, and then it takes you into kind of the blog area. You can edit the blog. You can kind of do some stuff in there. But, you know, again, the navigation is a little funky. you got to click around a little. Where am I? The syndication is where it pulls in, where you can control that. And then uh, your profile is where you talk about you. So put good stuff about you in there. Always good. People find you different ways. That's how it goes. So hopefully that was helpful. And, uh, you know, leave any comments in the, in the blog post if you have any questions. Talk to you next time.